it was a peak of our uh, union at the time, the TWU. Other events followed that event, but that was the, the pivotal event in terms of union solidarity, uh, obviously togetherness. People left aside differences, people left aside uh, people that were better off than others and concentrated, concentrated simply on the, on the ones that were worse off. And that is something that we are calling for today as well. Living standards have decreased and this is only the beginning. We are, really, we, we are really scared of what we are seeing. We don't believe that workers should be paying the price for COVID. And that is a reality and something we strongly want to challenge. Uh, we have commissioned a study. We, we've got uh, a, an economist uh, preparing a, a political and economic study of Gibraltar. That's still not 100% complete. We've just recently uh, issued for our members a survey on the cost of living crisis. Obviously, we encourage members to participate. Those who have not received it, please obviously contact the office and uh, we will supply you with paper format of it. But it's important participation. At the time of the general strike, what we saw is 100% participation, not only by union members, by the community. And this is a study that Unite the Union is funding? Absolutely. It's 100% funded by uh, Unite the Union. We have been uh, visiting workplaces. Uh, our shop stewards, conveners, uh, officers have been doing a, a hell of a, a good job in, in obviously approaching uh, uh, our members. And after a period of relative stability for, for Gibraltar, this feels like it's a, a new climate. Do you sense that the ambiente is changing as well among union members? Yes, yeah, it is. It is, and it's scary because some of the stories we are getting in the union, even though we are not at the same uh, level as the UK at the moment, we are not. But I've, I've had these conversations with many of our members, you know what I mean? Um, some of them are saying, well, you know, I'm more or less uh, okay at the moment, but we don't know what's going to happen in 12 months' time, because this, it, what, the, what we are getting is that the inflation will continue to rise, and that will put further strain into working people's pocket. I think the time has come. As a society, we need to decide where we want to go. 50 years ago, it was clear that society came together. And what we are calling is togetherness, whether it's one direction or, or the other. We've got something coming which is very important for us, which is the Brexit agreement. That's something that unite 100% support. I know we've got members who are, who are maybe not in agreement with some of the stuff, but for us, it's a fundamental agreement that will give uh, some space, breathing space, uh, because if not, we're going to find ourselves with more further difficulties. So as a society, we need to decide whether we, where we're going to go. And what we are saying is come together, you know, we need to unite, especially union membership. We need to unite. We need to leave differences apart. What you want is to make sure that the lowest earners in society um, are, are able to make ends meet. When the budget announcements were made, obviously the, there was a lot of concerns raised through the membership. So we met the chief minister. He provided us with certain leeways in terms of looking at people with needs as a, as a result of the measures. But uh, having gone back to the membership, that is something that the men membership does not accept. We welcome it and it's something we are willing to, to assist the government with, but it's not enough. It's not enough. We are saying that even public sector workers, the ones at the lower end, are being affected by this. He has said that uh, he's willing to look at the parity issue. A 40% margin was said at Parliament and in other meetings and in publicly. We find through our uh, uh, economic study that we're doing that that is not absolutely correct. Yes, there's some people on 40%, but you are sending a wrong signal when you're saying that the public sector workers are 40% over and above the counterparts in the UK, which the, the majority are not.